at 8000 meters basically life is very unpredictable the air is extremely thin uh, the weather is uh, anything but predictable out of all the 14 8000 meter mountains i think annapurna is definitely the deadliest one i have attempted until now annapurna almost 3 times and uh, annapurna's reputation definitely precedes itself when i thought of climbing the 14 8000 meter mountains I still remember all my mentors and all my climbing friends more experienced ones they come up to me and they were telling me to gain a little bit more experience to go about climbing a few more 8000 meter mountains before I actually attempted this My first attempt on Annapurna was back in 2019 we made it to an altitude of 7450 meters usually on Annapurna we only do four camps but uh, we had to establish a camp 5 Then the incident between camp three and camp four had happened, where a Sherpa fell on top of me, and entire snowbar had come out at a very steep section. I still remember the feeling of uh, almost dying up there on the mountain. Then in 2022, I was back on Annapurna uh, to make my second attempt on the mountain. We were able to reach an altitude of 7,900 meters, but unfortunately, uh, it was a very, very, very cold summit push, so we had to. turn around because i had to turn around because uh, i i couldn't revive my toes i was suffering from uh, first degree frostbite in my toes finally in 2023 we made it to the summit of annapurna in my third attempt i don't think uh, i've ever been on a much more difficult summit push and a colder summit push than this one finally when we started our summit push at night at 7 o'clock after 3 to 4 hours there was a very steep section which we found and the ropes were broken over there Uh, we basically had to go alpine style we were all uh, tied up in a single rope together and uh, we started navigating uh, through this challenge in front of us in extremely cold conditions one by one by one we all kept taking the lead but the risky bit was that if any one of us slipped uh, all of us were going to slip off this mountain at around uh, 7 am at uh, 17th of april 2023 we made it to the top of annapurna at 8091 meters and uh, finally i made it to the summit in my third attempt it was like a realization of a long uh, dream which i had been holding within myself for a very very long time so i was uh, strangely comforted by the seco prospect basically sitting on my wrist it's been through crazy amount of journeys uh, taking away effortlessly Uh, I knew that everything could go wrong on the mountain but uh, this particular piece of watch was definitely going to be there with me no fogging up it just worked absolutely fine in these extreme conditions even when the things were going difficult things were going strangely out of control uh, I knew that uh, this is a partner which will stay with me through and through the journey and I could rely on this I feel that there's no point in uh, discussing what has already happened and things about the past Uh, or things which have already gone by i think it's better to go out there and test yourself uh, test your limits uh, push yourself push your boundaries and uh, every time you feel like giving up uh, keep taking one step at a time and keep going forward keep going forward prospects say go